Hello everyone. So this um, series is about test taking strategies in NCLEX. So this is, will be a little bit longer from my previous video, okay, of the test plan. So again, remember with this, it's very important when you prepare for your NCLEX is you need to know your test taking strategies because probably you've experienced this, that you're taking your exam you already prepared for it, but why not your grade is not reflecting on your time of studying? It's because it's really more on test-taking strategies. So let's talk about different test-taking strategies. And again, the first thing you have to do is to do self-assessment. You need to assess yourself on, you know, how do you learn best, whether you're a visual learner, auditory learner, are you kinesthetic learner where in you're taking notes, you have a lot of post-its in your room, you know, you want to know that so that you know on how to prepare for your NCLEX because on how do you learn best, that will make you or increase your retention of knowledge when you are trying to learn a concept, okay? So again, another thing that you want to ask is what are your relative strengths and weaknesses because you want to know what concepts you think that you really know in depth versus to some concepts that you feel like you're not comfortable with so those are the things that you have to know firsthand and the NCLEX RN test plan that I showed you in my previous video will really help you on identifying those because as I said in my previous video is that Again, it will help you like a checklist and try to look for, okay, what are the things that I know and I don't, that I need to go back and relearn or review, okay? Another thing is develop a study plan. And as I said, the NCLEX RN test plan will really help you to develop your own study plan and create your own calendar. And I think that, you know, creating monthly calendar, that will really help you in relation to you know, preparation for your NCLEX. And of course, you want to know your timeline because, you know, if you know already the date when you're taking your NCLEX, you need to know if you'll be able to finish the test plan or will be able to meet the goal, okay? So next would be some suggestions that I can share with you is flashcards, especially with pharmacology. You can create your own. Or if you want to save time also, is there a lot of flashcards that you can buy from your lo local bookstore, okay? So again, you can use that, you know, to help you just to jog your memory on what can you remember about those medications. And remember that you need to know the generic name of the drug. Second is use mnemon mnemonics because again, with mnemonics, it will help you to remember things, right? Like for example, um, A, B, C, D, E bundle, you know, that's a mnemonic, you know, that we apply in ICU, okay? So what is A, B, C, D, E bundle? Um, a, B, C, D, E bundle, it really stands for, you know, assess, prevent, and manage pain. Um, both spontaneous awakening trials and spontaneous breathing trials and you know and more of it delirium monitoring early mobility so you know we use that to improve improve patient outcomes so that's one of the mnemonics that's are out there but you can create your own another thing is group study so of course for group study the goal is for you to jog your memory as a group on relearning some concepts and to brainstorm if you don't know a concept so that will also help. Relaxation techniques, this is very important, especially if you're in, under so much stress in preparing for your NCLEX. I remember before that my relaxation um, would be reading a fiction book or just walking, doing walking meditation or just music therapy. You know, there's a lot in there that you can do to relax your mind because of course our brain needs to regenerate okay or try to you know rest and digest for it to be able to be prepared for the concepts that you're trying 
to remember and relearn and being able to apply it into answering different types of NCLEX R and questions. Okay. Another thing is you want to know what the test plan is, what are the types of questions that you will see, and these are just some multiple choice, multiple response, like select all that apply questions. And remember, there are application analysis evaluation type of questions. There's drag and drop. Um, there's also some images that you have to identify, skills that you need to arrange. It's a drag and drop type of question. And again, you have to know that. Okay. And the thing is with multiple choice item is you want to look at the scenario. That's very important. You want to look at what the question is asking to you and pay close attention to the age of the patient, whether it's important, family status, whether the patient is married, just lost um, his or her partner, the health status, ethnicity, point in the care plan. Because you want to know that because that will give you a heads up on what the question is looking for. Another thing is, you know, when you answer the question, look at some possible answers. And remember that if you're down to two answer, choose the best one. And how do you choose the best one is that you look for, okay, what would benefit the patient more? Okay, that's the thing. What would, you know, what option would the patient benefit more? you can use that or what option cannot kill the patient if that's the question is all about or can kill a patient so it really depends on the question and now here is another thing that i can share with you is to take note of the keywords okay like for example first except not most and last okay Next would be, again, be sure that you're basing your answer on the best nursing practice, okay? Not on experience with one client in, or in particular clinical agency because maybe some of you are working as a nursing aide or maybe some of you are working as an LPN, LVN, um, PCA, patient care technician. You have to be very careful because... When you're taking your NCLEX, you have to think of ideal world, okay? Not based on what you saw in your practice, but what's expected from you, ideally, okay? That's the keyword, ideal world. And again, remember to read the question carefully and, you know, um, look for other intended outcomes that you might think of if you choose that answer, Okay. Now let's move on to multiple response item. When you look at it, it's pretty much the same. But the thing is, with multiple response item or select all that apply is when you look at the options, you have to think of what in here can be applicable to this particular patient or it can be applicable to this specific skill or medication adverse effects. So everything that applies, those are the answers. Okay, so you don't have to narrow down. So again, this is multiple response can be knowledge-based type of question or it can be an application, okay? Now, always remember to consider how the answers are clustered because correct answers are related to each other. So you have to pay attention to that. And another thing is you double check it, you know, double check your answers. Um, by reviewing the answers you did not check and be sure they are incorrect and should not be included in the answer okay when it comes to application analysis evaluation type of question is again read the question properly consider what information you already know and how that information should be used to that particular question okay Another thing is apply known formulas or framework that you know of, like Maslow's hierarchy of needs, um, developmental stages like with Erickson's, um, procedural steps, because if the question is about how to insert indwelling fully catheter to your patient in a step-by-step -step process, then you have to know that, okay? And again, think of ideal world, okay? So this is, this 
this is the part one of NCLEX R and Prep series for test taking strategies. So stay tuned on the part two. Thank you so much.